what's good y'all it's boy ross back at again with another video so we're gonna check out 10 most surprising pops in wwe now there are certain situations where you expect a certain wrestler to get a, a good hometown pop or just get a, a good pop in general depending on how popular they are or you know you know whatever feud they're in and and the fans are invested in like you expect that when daniel bryan in the height of the yes movement would come out to any arena you expect the yes chance you expect the pop to be huge and big same thing with stone cold same way with the rock you know you will always expect it with certain wrestlers that wherever they went the crowd was gonna pop big for them because of you know mostly just because of the wrestler the character and the storyline but it's always those gems where you don't expect a wrestler to get a big pop like they do but they end up getting one and maybe it could turn into potentially them getting pushed you never know so we're gonna check out some of these moments where wrestlers that you didn't think we get pops or surprising situations that got a pop depending on what the situation was we're gonna check that out by wrestling like me appreciate all love and support let's get right into this one. some iconic pops throughout wwe history from mankind winning the title in 1999 to john cena's unbelievable return at 2008's royal rumble for sure however there have also been some pops which have come completely out of nowhere and a wrestler that wouldn't normally receive a nuclear pop almost blows the roof of the arena Join us now as WrestleMania mm -hmm. looks at 10 of the most surprising pops in WWE. Well, pops nobody saw coming. Be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell for daily wrestling videos and follow us on Facebook for exclusive lists. Also check out our new channel, WrestleMania Shorts. Number 10, Eric Rowan in 2014. On the road to Survivor Series in 2014, John Cena attempted to recruit members of the roster to join his team to take on the authority. Mm -hmm. In one of the most unusual reveals imaginable, it was real that Eric Rowan had joined forces with Cena and would be a part of Team Cena at the annual yeah. Survivor Series. When Rowan made his entrance to join Team Cena, the crowd erupted and it was without question the biggest ovation of Rowan's career. What helped the segment were Luke Harper's facial expressions, which looked speechless that his former tag partner was going... Oh, dang, I was not trying to do that, y'all. <laughs> there have been some iconic ah, pops throughout WWE history that was from Mankind. Not my be intentions. A question, the biggest of I, what I was trying to do and say is once again, the feud that he was in, like, well, not feud, but the the surprise of him going against his Wyatt brethren. That's what made that even more intense. It's like, oh, what's going to happen here? Ovation of Rowan's career. What helped the segment were Luke Harper's facial expressions, which looked speechless that his former tag partner was going against Rest him in, in favor peace, of siding with Cena. To Luke Rowan Harper then embarked on a brief Luke, singles Luke run Luke in Harper. WWE, which was received well as Rowan showed that there was more to his character than being a menacing sheep mask in wearing heel. Number 9, La Resistance in 2004. La Resistance were a heel team throughout their WWE tenure, but when Raw aired in Montreal, it changed everything. Uh -huh. The opening match of the May 31st, 2004 edition of Raw kicked off with a world tag team title match as Chris Benoit and Edge defended their gold against the aforementioned La Resistance. Benoit and Edge received a huge pop, but nobody could have ever predicted just how the crowd would react to Rob Conway and Sylvain <laughs> Grenier. Crazy. Upon their theme song hitting, the crowd reacted as if these two were the biggest stars on the planet. The pop was astronomical, and it was apparent that the two hometown wrestlers were mm -hmm. overwhelmed with the response. WWE did the right thing in crowning the duo as they would defeat Benoit and Edge to win the titles. The response to this victory was unbelievable, and the duo would even celebrate in the crowd, giving the Canadian fans a moment to remember. Nah, that's, that is pretty cool. That's what you call calling a good audible if that wasn't already their original plan. Remember, number 8, the Bella Twins in 2018. Now, the Bella Twins are two of the most overhated talents in WWE history. <laughs> overhated. <but> thankfully, <laughs> their ovation at Raw 25 silenced all the haters. WWE would book a special segment which saw most of their celebrated women's performers in WWE come onto the stage. As expected, talents such as Trish Stratus and Michelle McCool received great ovations. But the Bella Twins' ovation was truly special. The crowd were elated to see Nikki and Brie and both looked thrilled to be there in attendance. Number 7, Goldust in 2013. <laughs> The 2013 Royal Rumble was a rather underwhelming rumble in the grand scheme of things. The Rumble winner, that being John Cena, was incredibly predictable and it seemed like nobody else had a chance of winning. 
whilst the Rumble was lacklustre, it did feature a special moment where Goldust received the biggest ovation of his career. Goldust would return as a surprise entrant to confront his brother Cody, and the arena finally knew they had something to <laughs> pop for. It was a comp- Because of just the family drama, bro. That that can that can make a a surprise pop out of nowhere. Telling moment and the crowd ate it up. This reaction highlighted that Goldust was a defined legend in the eyes of fans, and this eventually led to WWE bringing Goldust back for a featured storyline later in the respective year. Number six, Sheamus in 2022. Sheamus has been one of the most consistent performers mm -hmm. in WWE for the past 14 years. However, until 2022, it seemed like Sheamus never received the love and admiration from the fans that he truly deserved. That was until Sheamus wrestled yeah. Gunther at the 2022 Clash at the Castle Ooh. event in Cardiff, Wales. Fantastic. Sheamus went into the match as a heel, but upon his entrance music hitting, it was clear that the UK crowd were going to finally give the former WWE champion his this flowers. Such a great match Sheamus too. received the biggest ovation of his entire career, and what made it so special. Special so was that the ovation was sustained. When the match began, the crowd continued to show their support and appreciation for him with positive chants, which Sheamus clearly wasn't expecting. It was an insanely wholesome moment, and following receiving such a flattering response, WWE had no other choice but to take yep. Sheamus babyface for the first time since. I forgot he was a heel in that situation, even though you know Gunther's would technically be the heel there, but I forgot he was a heel in that situation. And hit the overwhelming support. It was like there's you can only, you gotta turn a face. <laughs> and then fantastic match. If you haven't seen that match, go watch it. It's Chef's Kiss five stars, man. Damn it. 2014. Number five, Eric Bischoff in 2018. One of the most compelling and entertaining segments of Raw 25 saw WWE on a past general managers of Raw. Names such as William Regal and John Laurinaitis all received positive reactions, but when Eric Bischoff's music hit, it was as if The Rock or Stone Cold Steve Austin had just appeared. Uh -huh. Bischoff received a thunderous ovation from the crowd, and it was nice to see Bischoff getting the respect he deserved. Bischoff was predominantly in WWE between 2002 to 2005, where he had an acclaimed run as GM of Raw. During his time as GM, Bischoff was involved in some excellent storylines with the likes of Austin and John Cena. Number 4, Mark Henry in 2013. The bodywork on offer from Mark Henry in 2011 was truly career defining. Henry went from a solid mid card talent to a legitimate main event star who could tell thrilling stories both in his promo work as well as his pay per view matches. The Hall During of this pain. point in time, Henry obtained a confidence that was hard to break, as he was believable as a top guy and fans bought into it. Therefore, in the summer of 2013, uh, yeah, WWE bro. made the decision to turn Henry into a babyface, but he would suffer an injury shortly into this run, completely derailing any storylines involving the former world champion. Thankfully though, Henry wouldn't miss too much time away from WWE as he would make his return to WWE at the Survivor Series pay-per-view. Ryback would issue an open challenge, and it was accepted by Henry. He received the single biggest reaction of his entire career, and it was even the single largest reaction of the pay-per-view itself. Number Which three, Christian in 2005. Which is always dope. The expression know your worth is especially the case when it comes to pro wrestling. Over the years, a number of wrestlers have left WWE as they believed that they weren't pushing them effectively and WWE management weren't responding to what the crowd really wanted. This was the case in Facts. 2005 as the WWE crowd firmly decided that it was Christian's time. Christian had truly emerged from Edge's shadow and his match quality was superb and he could have good matches with anyone up and down the card. Christian's promo work and charisma was also off the charts, and it was evident that he needed to be the new top heel in the company, but WWE refused to pull the trigger. Christian around this point began to receive career-altering reactions from the crowd, and the first instance of this happening was on the January 17, 2005 edition of Raw. Christian would wrestle Shawn Michaels in Canada, and the reaction was mm -hmm. truly a megastar reaction for Captain Charisma. Even though the show was in Canada, Christian had never received a reaction of this magnitude before and these types of pops continued throughout 2005 before his eventual departure in the summer of that year. Number two, yeah, Jack- Yeah, WWE, they definitely mismanaged Christian. Um, he definitely should have been a main event, uh, upper car main eventer, uh, especially on the heel side of things because the dude, dude was definitely putting in that work in the ring, storytelling, Feuds, dude was definitely putting in the work. So he was always, in my opinion, underutilized. They cared more about Edge than they did about Christian. Jack Swagger in 2014. Jack Swagger was often criticized in WWE for being overpushed. 
Swagger won the world title in 2010 without there being a demand to see him in the prestigious role, and the response from the crowd was a sign that he didn't belong in the main event scene. The same can be said for his main event push in 2013, as once again the crowd response was lackluster at best. Mm -hmm. His lack of charisma was holding him back from forming a connection with the crowd. However, in 2014, Swagger received a pop that stunned everyone as WWE decided to turn the former world champion into a babyface. Baby face, we the people. On the June 30th, 2014 yep. edition of Raw, Swagger interrupted Russo and along with Zeb Coulter, the fans reacted positively to him for yep. the first time in his career. As Coulter cut a promo, the fan response got louder and yep. louder and it was mm -hmm. evident the fans were interested it was crazy in this to new see that. side of Swagger. <laughs> and number one, Jinder Mahal in 2017. It's been well documented that the majority of the WWE audience hated Jinder Mahal's title reign. Hated. The crowd reaction to Mahal wasn't strong as even as the top heel on SmackDown, the fans just didn't care yeah. as it was a lack of desire to see him in a top role. However, when Mahal took on Randy Orton on the 8th August 2017 edition of SmackDown, he received a reaction that was fitting for a WWE Champion. The show was taking place in Canada and with Mahal being born there, the Canadian fans were going to show their love for the WWE Champion. The reaction was fantastic to see but WWE failed to address why Mahal was getting such a positive reaction, which was a massive shame. Nevertheless, once that week's edition of SmackDown had come to an end, Mahal's pops quickly died back down and he was getting less than enthusiastic reactions from the fans. Mm -hmm. have it, folks. The ten most surprising. Yeah, that is surprising. <laughs> Even sometimes, someone like Jinder Mahal and his awful title reign can get some type of reaction from uh, being uh, from his home uh, hometown, being born somewhere and performing there. You know, you may get some love. So, but yeah, yeah, th this was an interesting list for sure, man. Some of these definitely brought me back down memory lane comment down below let me know some other surprising pops from less popular wrestlers or wrestlers you wouldn't think would get a positive reaction from the crowd but i appreciate all the love and support you guys showing our channel road to 150k and i'm still against the youtube wrestling champion of the world appreciate y'all kicking me see you on the next one peace